there. Hi, everybody. So today we are at Disney's Animal Kingdom, and I ain't lying. <laughs> get it? Because there's a there's a, a, a lion. And so this is the Animal Kingdom Christmas tree. <laughs> um, we are here to do. What are we here to do? Well, a few things. What have we done the last three weeks? Christmas. It's <laughs> Christmas. Oh, four weeks. I think it's been four, four weeks. I think this must be number five. I don't know. Five. It's Three Christmas. Marks. <laughs> um, <Ta -da. laughs> so yeah, we're we're here to see their Christmas stuff, um, and there are a few new little critters that have yes. been around. Um, so we're here to see those, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. Uh, I do hear that Santa comes out on the barge, but I don't know if he's here today. So we're hoping to catch him. And then there's also other characters out on the barge, and there's. Probably some merchandise. Possibly. We'll see. But that's that's our goal is to we're just here look to see at things. What we can see. Yeah. <laughs> um, because it's not often lately that we're able to get into a Disney theme park. Um, so that's why we're here. But first I gotta tell you, my absolute favorite Christmas decoration out of all the Christmas decorations at the Disney parks is actually down beside us to my left. This is my absolute favorite Christmas decoration out of all the Disney theme parks. So at the base of this tree is the Winnie the Pooh characters in different toy forms. And my favorite one is here. It's Eeyore and he's a rocking horse. I absolutely love it. It's my favorite decoration. There's only one other decoration that can even come close to this for me, which of course is the dancing Christmas bulbs over at Hollywood Studios. But this one's my favorite. I like the jungle book little elephant. Because <laughs> I love baby elephants because they have fur on their head. Like for real. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, here is Kanga. There's Piglet over there. There's some Lion King characters. And of course the tree itself has a whole bunch of different animal Oh my there's a Mickey! <laughs> but yeah, it goes all the way up and there's different Lion King masks. I love this tree. I Is love it. Is one of the biggest trees on property? I'm not quite sure. I think it's one of the biggest. Like the biggest is at the Contemporary. Yes, the biggest is at the Contemporary. So it's not this one. But this one is one of the biggest trees. I also love that these snowflakes and stars are made out of bamboo. That's awesome. Around this side of the base of the tree is Tigger as a jack-in-the-box. And then there's Pumbaa as another block. And Turk as a ball. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is brand new to all of this. And then there's Simba as another block. Chip and Dale dancing around over here. Jiminy Cricket who is the symbol of conservation here at the Walt Disney World Resort, not just Animal Kingdom. And then there's a Rafiki block. So out in front of the park, they have this photo op with the characters from the Tree of Life projection. And look at that snowflake, it's awesome. Here at the Rainforest Cafe, the animals have gotten festive by putting on Christmas hats. Of course, you can hear this elephant over here just so excited about it. There's the apes with the hats on. Even this rhino has a tiny hat. There is what I suspect is mama, and then the baby is right here in these bushes. Hey, and that's not a what? They're Barbarusas. No, Barbarusas. Barbarusa. They're not warthogs. Warthogs are different. Ah. Not that you said warthogs, but they do look like warthogs, but they're Barbarusas. Gotcha. You know, the thing about a Disney park is you really have to watch the sky because sometimes things fly at you and then you have to scream, DUCK! <laughs> Another thing about these ducks is they have some pretty foul language. So of course, when you come into the park, once you pass the oasis, the area with all the animals at the beginning, 
you have this area with the Tree of Life view. And normally, this is packed from the top of the ramp all the way down to the Tree of Life. But as you can see, there's still plenty of space. And look, Christmas decorations. Is these are the decorations from last year because they did this really cool thing last year where they brought puppeteers out with different animals and we got to like spend time with them which was a really cool thing to do for Animal Kingdom because they didn't have Christmas before then so they brought these characters along with puppeteers and it was awesome so I wanted to point these out as Christmas merchandise because these are amazing normally you have your bubble wands which is on the other side the Mickey Mouse bubble wands but this one this one shoots out snow what? instead of bubbles it shoots out snow how cool it's awesome another thing that they brought back from last year to go along with those animals is this awesome mural of them around the tree of life these animals were just so cool i'm gonna put a link in the description so you guys can see them now to the left of Sartuli Cantina they have decorated the walker right there but something I wanted to point out is up in the rafters there's a Santa that's not what I wanted to point out there is actually a menorah up there you guys see that to the right of that walker And of course, like mom said, they put a Santa hat on top of the walker itself. And a Santa sleigh up there. At the very top. Yes. Way in the back is a snowman on a hoverboard. Yeah, it looks like it may be part of the lights that they hung. Yeah. Here in the village of Farambe, they use recycled materials to make their Christmas decorations. Over here you can see that they have used a couple balls and a bicycle tire along with some Christmas lights. And these wreaths up here are made out of bottle caps. With what looks like an elephant in the center. Yeah. They also have some trees with recycled materials once again with bike tires and then lights like a fan. Yep, at the top. And there's a metal elephant in that one too. One a lot closer to us. It's gonna be the black rhino, the smaller of the two rhino species found on the reserve, weighing upwards of about 3,000 pounds. Now, unfortunately, all rhino species are endangered. They are hunted for those horns. The left side of the truck up on top of the little cave right there, you're gonna see the African painted dog, also known as the African wild dog. Commonly mistaken for hyenas, but they're actually not related to the hyena. Which is something really cute that they do is when they wake up in the morning, each individual in the pack will greet each other before they get their day started. My roommates only do that after they've had their first cup of coffee. And the way they decide to do things throughout the day is through voting, majority rules. So what happens is if they say yes to doing something, they sneeze, but if they don't want to do it, they just stay silent. Mm. And if you look off to the left side of the truck, you guys are going to see the sable antelope. They're one of the few antelope species that will actually stand their ground whenever there are predators nearby. They use those horns in self-defense to protect their backs from lions jumping on them. This is going to be the Maasai giraffe. Now I can tell these are Maasai giraffe because of the rigid structure in their coat. That pattern is unique to each animal. It's kind of like your thumbprint. There's the baby. Giraffe are actually going to spend most of their day eating, only sleeping about 30 minutes a day. I'm using those long prehensile tongues to grab the leaves from the tops of the trees and pull it down. Coming up on the left side of the truck, you're going to see the tallest of the flamingos, the greater flamingo. Now if you pay close attention, you might see some babies in the mix. They're going to be a grayer or browner color. They're not going to get those pink feathers for another year or two. So how do they get those pink feathers? Well, it's actually from the beta keratin found in their diet, which is mostly shrimp. Also, another name for a flock of flamingos is a flamboyance of flamingos. There's the elephants. Oh, the females. There's actually quite a few elephants off to the left side of the truck, including a baby elephant. Oh. 
Originally given to the white rhino was the wide rhino or wide-lipped rhino. So these guys are grazers. They're actually using those wide lips to be able to grab as much grass as possible per bite. I do think we're waiting on all the rhinos to go past. <laughs> we should have possibly four. Right now we only have two. We may see the baby out here. They're So another name for a group of rhinos is a crash of rhinos. So look at what their ears are doing. They're those ears are moving around their head. That's actually their main sense for direction. So their eyesight is actually very poor and at nighttime, they're almost blind. That's gonna be the African lion. Now a certain Disney movie might tell you that the lion sleeps tonight, but they actually sleep most of the day, sleeping about 18 to 20 hours a day. They'll come out at nighttime to do a lot of their hunting. And the reason for that is because at nighttime their eyesight is six times greater than it is during the day. And it's the females who do all the hunting while the male sits back and protects the pride. And at its loudest, a lion's roar can be heard up to five miles away. Now it might be a little bit hard to spot, but if you see this big tree right here, just off to the right side of the, tr the tree, you're going to see a bonsabok laying down right there. It's going to be brown and white. So they actually have a pretty interesting story. At one point in time, there was only 17 of them left in the wild. What happened was There's a farmer gathered female. that remaining 17 and put them on his farm the male, and actually saved the species. The Their numbers are slowly coming back in the wild due to conservation efforts. So just like the rhino, we have the ostrich that's in front of us, really close to the truck. So we have to wait to pass it. <laughs> but for now, we can see the warthogs are moving around. They're really active right now can't move forward because the ostrich is over there. <laughs> it's just being stubborn. See, he's just being stubborn down there. Now he's walking in front of us. Sometimes when these animals get in the road ahead of us causing a traffic jam, we call it here at Safari's a giraffic jam. I think I heard a pity laugh back there. So you can see these guys are really close. We still have the ostrich in front of us, so we're moving slowly. He's just walking in front of us slowly. And there it is. That was in front of us. <laughs> they can run at speeds of about 40 miles per hour, and they also have a kick powerful enough to break the bones of a lion. And no cup of coffee will wake you up faster in the morning than having two ostriches charge at your truck at 40 miles an hour, as I got to experience the other day. Their eggs on the ground are the largest eggs, weighing about three pounds, or the equivalent of about two dozen chicken eggs, and they're actually strong enough that I could stand on top of them and it would not break. Now we have a new also, area. Also, to the left side of the truck, you're going to see the Nigerian dwarf goats. Now, they look really tiny, but that's about as big as they're going to get. They only stand about two feet tall. And they're actually used around the, the world goat. for their milk. And they're also very playful animals, very social animals, and they like, they're very good climbers. Now, unfortunately, it does sad me to tell you guys that most of the animals we have seen today on the safari are endangered. Most recently, a couple of years ago, the giraffe was added to the endangered species list. That one just got down in the food container. And these two are chasing each other. <laughs> Wow, that's fast. Whoa! Whoa! He's looking, he had his face through the net looking down at him. <laughs> See, look, his face is through the net. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the Okapi. It's the copy, not the original. 
there's a whole bunch of meerkats to the left over there. And then there's a few right in front of us. Oh look, there's one on top of the rock. Hope I heard it squeak. He's opposing him. Look at him. <laughs> no, go back down there. Oh, sorry. I fault. <laughs> On a rock, just the pose. Oh, that scared all of them. So what happened is you have for meerkats a sentry, who's the one up here on the rock, and then you also have a sentry farther back there, and then the one that we saw that was over here was also a sentry until when that bird screamed they all hid while the sentries stayed active paying attention to see if the bird was coming at them now this one's just watching us because we're silly looking Great song. <gasps> it's Mickey and Minnie and Pluto. Tudum, 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 bum, bum. Twitch and roar. That's the Jingle Jammin' Parade. Here's some music. Some jingle bells. It's Donald and Daisy with lunch pad. <laughs> I think I see Timon. Say hello to Timon and Rafiki as they sail down the Discovery River. The Komodo dragon. He's just dragging his feet around. Now, that is one of the funniest looking zebras I've ever seen. So, about a week and a half ago, 
the lead designer for Animal Kingdom announced that he's retiring in January. Now, what that means is... The Yeti will never come the, out of the mountain. The Yeti's not gonna be fixed! <laughs> now, although Joe was the lead creative designer behind Animal Kingdom, this is his baby. That does not mean that he is the only designer for Animal Kingdom. Headed into Dino Land, you have the Olden Gate Bridge, which is all different colors. It's all lit up. And then you can see it's got a Santa face and a Santa hat up there. They're still putting it together though. As you can see, there's the tail separated still. But this is the Olden Gate Bridge. Hey Michael. What? How do dinos light their house? How? They use dino lights. Dino lights? <laughs> that one's a nervous Rex. <laughs> <laughs> and that one there's a pterodactyl. I mean, it's really hard to see because they, they aren't lit yet. But they are there. You can see the Triceratops to the left over there. <laughs> now over here in Dino Land, of course we know Primeval Whirl. It was supposed to be a seasonal ride, um, but recently they announced that it's not coming back. There has been photos of the cars completely gone. They're not even in the station over there. They're just gone. They've been removed. So I believe Primeval Whirl is not coming back. <laughs> Mom, look at the size of the snowman! He is! There's also some Christmas trees! At nighttime, the Christmas lights light up. And the rain, rain, rain came down, 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 and rushing, rising rivulets. And the rain, rain, rain came down, 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 and flooded into piglets. <laughs> Why are you still fixing your hair? Because I stuck it up like this. It's wet. <laughs> Mine's plastered to my head. Plastered hair. Oh boy. Well, that is That's the... a deep subject. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> what are we talking about? Wells. Right. Deep subjects. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is the end of our day. Yes. We have spent the entire day at Animal Kingdom, which is fantastic. It's been a great day. Guys, we it's raining very we, hard. We did see a lot of animals. We saw a lot of baby animals mm -hmm. today. Tons of animals. Some newbies. Um, we saw how they've decorated for Christmas. Yes. But because this is Animal Kingdom, they have not full out decorated. No. Because um, they're just Some getting in the swing of things. That they decorate. Yes. Recyclable materials and things like that. Right. Unique. Do you like unique up on it so you can see it? How do you catch a tame rabbit? Tame way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, with all the animals we saw in the Christmas decorations, it is actually we not got to only ride a few rides. It's not only raining. Yes, we did ride a few rides. Mm -hmm. But it's not only raining, but it's also getting dark. Which is something we haven't done at Animal Kingdom in a long time, is see it dark. Not just the theme park dark, but Animal Kingdom dark. Sorry I'm blinking so much. I got rain in my eye, dripping from my hair. She's got drip drops on her head. That being said, it is the end of our day. So keep laughing with us. Subscribe and like. And bye guys. Bye.